It's good to be back in the old threads. Well, the old new threads. I gotta say, that black costume was pretty cool. Up until I realized it was actually alive and taking over my mind. Guess they should have put that on the label. All joking aside, that thing needs a warning label. Especially since Max seems to have ignored my advice that the V-252 is too dangerous to exhibit at the Stark Expo. But if he won't listen to me as Peter Parker, then it looks like a job for... Spider-Man! Wow. The Stark Expo. I still get chills when I see that sign. Uncle Ben and I would come to this every year. Once I actually got 30 feet from Tony Stark. <sighs> I never wash those feet again. Now that I'm here with Horizon High, I'll have a front row seat for when Stark unveils his new... Uh-oh. I know the Stark Expo is a tough event to get into, but the roof should not be an option. Whoa, where'd he go? Creepy. But I'm guessing he's just using the Mirage Reflectors they unveiled at last year's Expo. Hey, Ghost of Expo's past. If you're trying to get into the Expo ahead of the fans waiting in line, you're gonna have to go through me first. Wow, he's taking me literally. Well, let's see how he feels about a knuckle sandwich. Uh, oh. That's more than a mirage reflector. Oh, he must have shorted my web shooters. Can I help you? Huh? Iron Man! Holy cow! Just like on my collector's cups. Only taller, because, you know, they're cups. You're pretty excited for an intruder. Intruder? No, no, I'm the guy trying to stop the intruder. Don't you know better than to break into a tech expo? Every electronic security apparatus in the place alerted me to your presence. What? No, it wasn't me, it was... Talk to the hand. No! No, no, no! Instant oatmeal! Now, with more iron. Ugh, ow. Faster than I gave you credit for, Spider Man. That's because we have to move quick if we're gonna catch the real. Wait. You. You know who I am? I'm aware of you. What I'm not sure about is your intention, which is why you're coming with me. Ow. He knows who I am. This is growing tiresome. I'm telling you, I'm not the guy you're after. There's some sort of ghost up here. Who is. A ghost? Uh, nice try, but according to my readouts, it's just me and you. A five-foot, ten-inch, ninety-seven-pound... kid? Don't be so surprised. This place is crawling with kids. Well, they're not all crawling, just me. And you know what they say? He who crawls and leaps away lives to fight another day. I hope! Clever, kid. While there's no doubt Spider-Man is the best person to find this ghost character in Warm Max, some days you can accomplish more just by being... Another face in the crowd! Okay, okay, one at a time. Wow, can't believe we're all finally here. Seems like everything we've worked for all semester has led to this very moment. I don't think I've ever seen so many geniuses under one roof. You're late. Would hello ever suffice? No. Have you seen Max? He's over on the Horizon stage. But I wouldn't bother him. The V-252 isn't stabilizing, so he's bugging out. I'll keep that in mind. Maybe it'll help me convince him not to use it. Parker! Flash? What are you doing here? Oh, uh, I beg your pardon? This expo is for the brightest of the bright, and I am representing Midtown High with my baking soda volcano. Sure, Midtown may have other entries, but let's be honest. Nothing wins the day like good old paper or matchy. <laughs> That's great, Flash. I'm in a hurry, but best of luck. Step away from the door, sir. Huh? I was just... Step away from the door. Pete! He's with me. What's with the security? Yeah, just my dad being my dad. Pretty exciting day, huh? Yeah, no kidding. The program says Oz Academy is exhibiting a vulture force? Among other things. Harry, that's enough talk. But, Dad... I said, 
That's enough. I should get going anyway. Good luck today, Osborns. You too, Pete. Do you have to be so rude, Dad? And Pete's my best friend. And today, he's the competition. But everyone's about to see our experiments anyway. And besides, I don't think I can keep my glider a secret much longer. About that, son. I've made a decision. I don't want you to enter your glider into the competition. What? Why? It's perfect for the expo. I'm sorry, son. But Spider-Man's break-in at Oz Academy got me thinking. We need tighter security. And now that we know that Spider-Man has aligned himself with Horizon High, it might be time Oz Academy had someone protecting our interests. And your glider here could be the first step toward such a figure. But- The conversation is over, Harry. Come on. Problem, Max? Aha! There! There! I've got it! Now, if I can just keep it stabilized long enough for the Stark representatives to confirm my research, I'll be on my way to adding it to the periodic table. Didn't you read the research I gave you, Max? Very insightful. Then you know that the V-252 is alive. I actually found that part debatable, Peter. Debatable? I... Can you show me further proof? Because I had trouble confirming your theory. What I was able to confirm, however, is what I've always suspected. This substance, when given the proper catalyst, can take the form of whatever I program. Look at this. A hand, a foot, you name it. It's not only versatile, but also impenetrable and will revolutionize the prosthetic industry. I'm telling you, it's alive, Max. Exposing it to the world, let alone the Expo, is dangerous. Science is always dangerous, kid. If it wasn't, it would be called mini-golf. Tony Stark! If Max Modell here says something safe, then I believe him. How are you, Max? <laughs> Very well, thanks, Tony. Allow me to introduce one of my more passionate students, Peter Parker. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Stark. I own every issue of Scientific Magazine with you on the cover. No need to yell, son. I'm right here. Ooh, gotta work on that grip, kid. You're not helping debunk the myth that scientists are 98-pound weaklings. <laughs> I'm 97 pounds, actually. Hmm. Tony! Here we go. Norman! You're looking well. Me? You should see my vulture force. I assure you, they will be the highlight of the expo. I'm the highlight of the expo, Norman. You should know that. In fact, if you'll excuse me, I've got 30,000 screaming fans to impress. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Stark Expo, the technological event of the year, with your host, the technological man of the millennium, Tony Stark. Thanks, everyone. I'm sure you're all about to unveil some groundbreaking technology here today. Let's be honest, you really came to see the new suit, am I right? Yeah! Then I give you... The Mark 50! Tony Stark is a selfish capitalist. Who said that? Sir, we have a breach. Already on it. But he's using an echo device. Can't pinpoint his location just yet. Obsessed with being a tech titan, Stark took control of my ideas and left me out in the cold. So now I've got to take control of his ideas and leave him in the cold, hard ground. I don't think so. Spider-Man? Uh-oh, still no tech. I gotcha! Hopefully! Spider strength, don't fail me now! A little early for high fives, don't you think? Iron Man? Now do you believe there's someone else here? It's nothing to say those kids earn you some cred, but if you want my trust, you'll help me take down your partner. He's not my partner! Then prove it. Easily! If my tech was working, better fix it fast. Boost from the static generator should do the trick! 
Hope that did it. Thanks, Calhoun High School. You're attacking me now? Great job proving you two aren't partners. I'm telling you, I don't even know who this guy is. His name is Ghost. He's got a grudge against me, which isn't good because he can manipulate all forms of tech. He can even shut it down by passing through it. Too bad we can't overpower his circuits the way he did mine. That's not a bad idea. The Mark 50 has the ability to control other suits remotely, but if I can reverse the signal with an incoming charge... Good call, Spider-Man. Maybe I was wrong about you. You fools. All I needed from that suit were the interconnectivity disks. Or maybe I spoke too soon. Since you don't seem to mind one man controlling all the tech in the world, Mr. Stark, let's see how you feel about one man controlling all the tech at your expo. <laughs> Everyone, stay calm! Oz Academy Vulture Force! Attack! Norman, no! He's extended his reach with my interconnectivity disks! Suit's not responding to my commands! <laughs> He's gained control of everything tech-based! Take down what you can! No, 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 no! Otto, get those arms off! I can't! They're... Stuck! We've got to retrieve those discs. No problem. Just gotta keep my eyes on the prize. He's controlling the optic lenses in my mask. Spider-Man, what are you doing? Sorry, lens is going haywire. He engaged my night vision goggles. Tech is your enemy now, Iron Man. Why not take that armor off? I'd love a shot at your arc reactor. Not a chance! Then experience what it feels like to have no control! My solar flares are charging! I can't see! Spider-Man, grab it before I can- Lens has enhanced the glare! I've got him, Spidey! Watch out! He has control of my arms! Oh, thank you, Spider-Man. Harry? Get to safety, Max! But where's Spider-Man? still can't see. Iron Man, I packed into your frequency. We need to work together if we're going to stop Ghost. Agreed. I'll be your eyes. He's at your 9 o'clock. Hit him now. Stop. You'll regret that. Oh. That was just the break we needed. Plus, my eyesight's coming back. Get me closer to those kids. Grab my hand. Ah. I'm sorry. Uh, that wasn't what... He's in control of my armor oh. again. It won't stop attacking! Look out! Yeah, got it! That ghost can't control it if it doesn't have power. Good move! Have to rely on things he can't manipulate. Like my spider sense! Iron Man? Sorry, kid, I'm not in control. Only have one way to stop this. Be checked. Finally. Now, let's get to the heart ah, of the ah, matter. Ah, my arc reactor! Iron Man! Have to break Ghost's control of Iron Man before he kills him. But everything in this place is tech. Almost everything. After it took over my mind, I swore I'd never put this thing on again. Spider-Man! But Tony's life was at stake. No, it is alive. Once and for all, Spider-Man! Spider-Man! If this isn't an ad for going organic, I don't know what is. How? I have control over everything! Everything tech-based! All I need to destroy you. My sonic screen's been activated! Stop it! Symbiote coming apart! Sir, something does affect you. So 
but for your cereal! What? How? How? Let's just say that when you push people too far, they get enraged. And rage is a powerful... Give up these discs. Now. Apologize! Spider-Man! Stop! Let security take it from here. Oh, You ruined my big finish, T.S. Spider-Man! You need to take that suit off right now. It's alive! Alive? I thought you wanted it to become an element on the periodic table. I did. I was caught up in the glory of it all, but now I know it's not safe. Maybe you're just not the right person to control it. Maybe it takes someone awesome. Spider-Man! When Ghost was an employee of mine, he did have incredible ideas. But I took them from him because he lost sight of their impact. He wasn't acting responsibly. And I have to wonder if you're heading into similar territory. Changing your suit is one thing, but changing your moral compass is another. You're right. I've got to get this thing off. But I can't do it alone. And with the sonic scream devices destroyed, I don't know how. Let me take a crack at it, Spidey. I can pull it off. I appreciate the gesture, but it'll take more than just you. Why don't we do it together? Well, if I've learned anything on the Avengers, it's that we're at our strongest as a team. Who's ready to assemble? Yeah, let's do this. Ready? Good to be in control again. Nice teamwork, everyone. Hey, anything to help out Spider, man? What, he's just leaving? Sir, should we pursue him? No. Let him go. Nice assist, Otto. Thank you, Max. And I'm sorry about attacking you before. Once I've connected the arms to the cerebral cortex, and not a battery source, it won't ever be vulnerable to hacking again. Otto, I don't think you should continue working on those arms until I have a better understanding of their advanced capability. What? Why? I know enough I'm to I'm complete... sorry, Otto. Either you continue your research at a pace I'm comfortable with, or I'm pulling your funding. Your school, your rules. Have it your way. Peter, where have you been? I, uh, got trapped underneath some of that debris. Well, I'm glad you're okay. Look, I wanted to apologize for earlier. You were right, and I was wrong. And to make it up to you, I'm lifting your punishment for taking the V-252 in the first place. Your work here at the Expo will be reflected <sighs> in your overall grade. Thank you, Max. Hey, speaking of grades, who is the winner of the Expo anyway? Good question. Mr. Stark, who gets the prize? Well, considering it is the only thing still standing, I guess the winner is... Flash Thompson's Paper Mache Volcano. Yeah! In your face, eggheads! Oh, yeah! I mean, um, I humbly accept this great honor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Flash. Oh, what a waste. Dad, I I'm sorry I overreacted when you said I couldn't enter my glider. If I had, it would have been destroyed along with everything else. Maybe it is meant for greater things. Well, then we didn't lose here today after all, Harry. We gained something even more valuable. Clarity. Max, I'm taking this substance back to Avengers Compound. Something this powerful needs to be under secure lock and key. <laughs> no argument here. Mr. Parker, it was a pleasure to meet you. 
Max says you have a lot of potential, and as always, I believe him. <laughs> Thanks. I wish I was a gooey black substance. I could go back to Avengers Compound with you. Yeah, I'm gonna leave now. Oh! I meant to get his autograph! Really? You don't think one awkward moment is enough? That is quite an impressive contraption you have there. Huh. Yeah. A lot of good it'll do me. Well, I happen to know where you might find some additional funding, if needed. Mr. Stark! Oh, I meant to ask, could you autograph my expo program? Sure, kid. Too bad Spider-Man ran off so fast. You could have gotten the autograph of two heroes instead of one. You really think Spider-Man's a hero? I think he's on his way. He just needs some guidance. You know how it is. You've got Max as your mentor. I'd like to think Spider-Man knows he can call on Iron Man in the same way. I'm sure he does. Well, keep up those studies. And, uh, lift a barbell or something, will ya? I can't be the only science stud around here. <laughs> will do! To Paul? Ah! It's Peter! 